sharp. And I got a prophetic word this morning. So let me just say a quick prayer. Father, I am truly thankful to you for stepping in with this election and helping your people. I know in my heart of hearts that you are going to make the right person win this. So we thank you for that. We thank you for your compassion and your mercy upon us, your people, who have been fasting and praying and seeking you during this chaos that our country's been going through for months and months now with the violence and just the total disruption of society as we know it. So we thank you, Father, for intervening. And Father, we're thanking you for getting rid of this coronavirus, this evil virus that's out there. And we rebuke it in Jesus Yeshua's name. And we do rebuke all manner of cheating, evil, and everything that's going on out there in the name of Jesus Yeshua. This is what I got this morning. I love you. Why do you choose to follow another? When did you decide to become your own God? What makes you think that cheating is the way to win? And why do you have so much disdain for those who disagree? When did America become her own enemy by turning against herself? You were founded for religious freedoms and liberty from oppressive governments. What makes you want to go back to government control where the people have no say? Socialism is an ideology that makes a one world government the focus on power. And no one has the right anymore to freedom of self-expression unless you agree with those who are in control. This is not America as you are. And this is not the America you want to become. Your forefathers came across the sea for freedom and made sure in the Constitution that it would stay that way by checks and balances. No one side is meant to control all, and the people still have the right to control their government. You cannot, my people, allow this agenda to suppress who you are and take away your freedom that I gave you as my people. America stood out to the world as a beacon of light for truth and justice. When did you become a nation of lies and deception? Evil has come into the camp, and you must remove it. It is time for you to turn back to me. Both sides need their creator, and this is why I have allowed all this to happen, to show clearly what you are dealing with. Decency will win this war. For my people are still in great number in America, and the lies and the deception are being revealed. Trust me while I turn the bow of this ship back towards the lighthouse, Yeshua. I love you so very much. Hold on to truth and justice, for it will prevail. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and watch America be delivered from all the evil that seeks to suppress my will. Love your Father who art in heaven. That's what I got. The Lord is talking to us and asking us why have we turned against our own country and the freedom that we achieved. We left the oppressive government of England and came here for freedom. Why do we want to go back to a government that's in control? We're not thinking, and many are being deceived. We don't want a government that's not controlled by the people. That's when you start having problems. And the other side getting in, they will flood the judges and they will bring in states and make them Democratic, so that the Republicans can never win again. God is watching, and God knows what he's doing. He wants all of this to be revealed to everyone in America. That's why it's all happening, so we can see clearly what we're dealing with. 
We are dealing with Nephilim demonic spirits. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because the other side just has hatred. Period. And it's towards those that love the Lord. Those that are looking for justice and decency. When do we become a world of lies and deception? It's been going on for some time now. What happened to truth, justice, and the American way? What happened to it? Why have we allowed such lies and deception to take over? Why are we allowing the rioting to continue? Why is it still continuing when they believe Biden has won? Because they don't care who wins. They don't care. They're just doing it to do it. They want their own agenda to take over. Everybody has their own idea of what they want America to be like. And it's not the way God wants it to be. And it's certainly not freedom. So we need to keep praying, keep rebuking, and just trust in God with this whole election thing that's going down. Because I am telling you again, this election was stolen from Trump. There's no way that everything's turning Republican and then Biden gets in as the president. No, no, didn't happen that way. You're going to find out that these machines, whatever they did, put it towards Biden's side. They had boxes of ballots coming in. They were, they were standing hiding filling out all kinds of ballots to put them through. This is the great deception, and it's disgusting in this country. We have totally strayed from our God. But those of us who love the Lord and are walking with him, we're the ones that are blessed, and we're the ones that have to show them the truth in love. But we must rebuke evil where it is, and it is trying to get into the White House because they don't tell the truth. They really don't. And if you fact check things, you'll realize that they have been lying all along. And believe me when I tell you, when they stand up and they thanked everybody in the poll booths and all that they did, the thanking was for those that cheated and did what they had to do to make the count change. That's what the thanking was for. The sacrifice of all the Americans that made sure that Trump didn't win this by cheating. Cheating. You don't win when you cheat, folks. We have to pray and just trust God because he's in control of this and he does love America and he loves his people. And we have to show the other side. The other side has to see clearly because there are decent Democrats out there that are decent people, that will see clearly the cheating that was done cannot be in this country. So keep praying, and I will be back when he sends me back again, and have a blessed day. And somebody thought that they blocked me on YouTube, but I still see people are still watching it. So if you're having trouble getting in there, you can always catch me on my Facebook page. And because my videos all go up on that too. Um, and actually, I'm, all my videos go on the Jonathan Khan site too. So, um, other than that, have a blessed night. And Gary and I love you very much. Oh, and the well went in today. It went in, and listen to this one. God showed me where to dig the well. I had a vision of it on the property up on the hill. So that was where we did it, exactly where God said to do it. Well, they hit water, and not only did they hit water, they said the, the, the pressure, the water pressure is 20 gallons per minute, and that's like fantastic. So God showed me where we were supposed to dig the well, and we got the most pressure that we need. I don't know anything about that, but from what I'm hearing, it's like, wow, that's really good. So that got done today. Um, and we're moving forward as the finances come in, we're moving forward 
as the finances come in. So keep the prayers going and um, have a blessed night. I'll be back when he sends me back again. <laughs>